the search for survivors of the collapsed condo building near Miami continues tonight, and that includes Cassie Stratton, the wife of Colorado's well-known Democratic strategist Mike Stratton. He offered his thanks to first responders today, along with appreciation for the community's support as he and his family wait, hoping against hope that there might be some good news about Cassie, one of 159 people still unaccounted for in Surfside, Florida. Now, firefighters in the Denver metro area have not faced a catastrophe like that one, but they told our Noel Brennan they have the right training and the right equipment to respond. We cover confined space, trench rescue, building collapse, vehicle extrication, rope rescues. Firefighters travel with tools they need for the job, but some jobs require a bigger toolbox. This is our collapse rig for South Metro. Anything Captain Brett Pickford packs fits comfortably inside South Metro Fire's new collapse rescue truck. And so it carries heavy equipment and lumber to deal with building collapses. And then we would put this up with uh, the trusses. So these are just our initial uh, snake eye cameras, just something you'd be able to use like at home from Home Depot. These tools are the kind rescuers carry to the rubble of a collapsed gotcha. condo building in Miami. It takes you back to September 11th and the World Trade Centers. When you look at that type of collapse, you see that and then you see a pile of rubble and it looks it looks calm when you look at it, but there's a lot of chaos going on that you're not seeing underneath the, the voids and things like that. And then days, weeks and even months going into that with the rescue crews and all the families that are affected by it. That's that's the hard part. Some tools firefighters won't find in any truck. It's never easy, right? There's people trapped. You can hear them screaming and yelling a lot of times and we're trying to do everything we can to get to them and it's emotionally draining. Despite the risk, rescuers stay until the job is done. We have tools we can use to get them out and we're going to do everything in our power to do that. For next, I'm Noel Brennan. South Metro Fire got that new collapse rescue truck through a federal grant, and there are only a couple of those around the metro area, so South Metro has promised to bring in its truck if needed to help other agencies.